there are basically two different possibilities. One is either to take what we call psychophysical tests. It's just exposing somebody to an odor and asking him what he perceives. So I could do that with some orange odor and you tell me this is orange or I could give you a choice. Say, is this what I just presented to you? Is this orange or lemon or grapefruit? And so you will give me a correct or not answer. And the other way is to, to test this uh, more objectively. So these are tools where I would put some electrodes on your head and uh, measure what your brain does when you get stimulated by an odor. It's basically the two methods you can do. How can smell loss be tested? It's on the various techniques developed. The simplest would be an odor identification test that I present an odor to you and you tell me how the odor smells like. But you have to do it like also in a structured way. So people, if I would present just an odor to you, you probably would have a hard time to recognize it. Um, so what we do is we present it together with a list of items and you select the odor name from this list of items. So then it's fairly easy for people who have a normal sense of smell. So there are a number of odor identification tests around that allow it to do a quick diagnosis in like four or five minutes. So when you want to learn more about the patient, about effective loss, there are other tools available, like odor threshold tests that tell you from how sensitive people are, what concentration they need to perceive a certain odor, or the discrimination tests that you have to uh, find differences between on various odors, you have to tell which of three odors is different, so very simple tests.